Hey, Nate Kennedy with Marketing Rebels, where we talk about business, marketing, and money. Let's get to it. People are making marketing way too complicated. I've seen this trend over the last 10 years where everybody's focused so much more on marketing automation than they are on relationship marketing. They're using all these tools to try and make a funnel work and build a massive complex piece of online, an online system that they never have to talk to the customer and they just generate money. And here's the thing, the trend's getting out of hand. When you have to use seven to eight tools to get something done, to just build a relationship and, and generate a client, there's something wrong with that. It shouldn't be that complicated. So this is, seeing this trend over the last 10 years has what caused me to kind of go the opposite way, right? As rebels in the industry, you have to go the other way from what the industry trend is doing. So over the last 10 years, we've seen that. And I've decided that we gotta, we gotta simplify this. Back in the beginning of 2020, how do we simplify marketing? What is it, when you boil it down, what does it really come down to? What are you trying to accomplish? And when you break it down to its simplest form, it's just this building passionate crowds of people and providing them with opportunities to purchase the products that they want and or they need. That's really what it boils down to. So if that's the case, why are we so focused on automation and all these other pieces that are out there? And you've seen the trend, you've seen e-com explode recently and you've seen people buying more products based on imagery and lifestyle and kind of the brand that of itself as opposed to these long core complicated funnels right so with that said if you have if you want to simplify your marketing the way that we did it is i started going through different systems and i said all right how can what can we do i want something it's got to be simple it's got to be easy and it's got to build passionate crowds that like to buy things so i came up and we call it the one step funnel and if you, if you watch my Instagram stories, if you don't, go subscribe to me over there or follow me over there. And what you'll see is I post our one-step funnel daily updates over there on how this stuff works. But you can check that out. With that, the one-step funnel is the fastest way that I know that anyone can break into marketing to build a passionate crowd, a big audience of people, a big email list of people, and generate revenue without any complicated funnels, without any sales calls, anything like that. So what I wanted to do is talk a little bit about that. You don't need complicated pieces and difficult marketing. What you need to do is identify a crowd of people, put a one-step funnel in place, turn on some traffic and generate leads and build a relationship with them. Build a re the relationship doesn't always have to be you. It doesn't have to be an influence. It doesn't have to be the face of a company. The the person who's leading it could be a company. We have multiple one-step funnels that lead into different brands that people are passionate about. And then we provide opportunities for them to purchase. The best part is the majority of our brands, that the majority of our stuff we do are brands. Outside of the Marketing Rebels at this moment, I'm the only, this is the only one where I'm actually in front of camera talking and using one-step funnel to grow an audience. Everything else are brands. No one knows who I am. They don't even know I own them and we build passionate crowds and we don't even have our own offers in those other brands. We promote other people's stuff. So we don't have funnels to deal with, systems, all that other stuff. We just generate passionate crowds and we provide them with opportunities. So you can do it both ways. And Marketing Rebels, I happen to be part of a brand and doing videos in front of it. I guess in the influencer style side, if you wanna say that. Uh, so there's this case as well, where we also leverage a one-step funnel to grow passionate crowds that are into marketing. And then we also, at the back end of that, have an, an opportunity for people to learn how to become media moguls working with us. And so we have a little bit more of a funnel over there, but it takes a while for you to see that because we spend our time building a relationship with people before we start putting a bunch of stuff in front of them uh, on how to actually work with us. Because at the end of the day, it's relationship over complication. Those are two different ways that you can leverage the one-step funnel. Maybe you don't want to be the person in front of a camera. You don't want to be the person in front of a brand. You just want to build a company that has a good name to it, a good brand to it, and leverage that to generate passionate crowds. You can do that and promote other people's products. The choice is yours. Either way, you need to own your audience. That's the big takeaway. And you can do that in a very simple way by leveraging the one-step funnel. If you found value in this video, go ahead and hit the like button, share the video, spread the love with someone else so they can gain value as well. Thank you.